So can you tell a little bit about the work that you exactly did on the front end side? So can you tell me what do you understand by the ACID property? Try to come up with a solution and think these points beforehand itself. When it comes to implementing the code part, I think there is some something which is not. So myself Shubham, I graduated from IIT Rurki only, uh, like four okay. years back. I'm the only alumni. Uh, if you would have seen the notice board, so um, I started my software journey from Oyo. Then I moved. I spent there almost two and a half years. Then I moved to an early stage startup just to know how things work at a very scratch level. And uh, the recent experience that I hold it is of uh, service now. It's a US based MNC. So that's a bit about me. Would you like to give a brief intro about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm Vikas Agrawal. I'm currently pursuing my B.Tech in Civil Engineering here at IIT Roorkee. So from the very first year, like I was sure to pursue a career in programming and like in software engineering. And to align myself for the same, in the very first year, I took one course in data structure and algorithm. Also in my internship, uh, I did my internship basically in web development, where we developed the website of organization using React.js as library. So can you tell a little bit about the work that you exactly did on the front end side? Yeah, this internship? sure, sure, sure. I was given two months. So in the like first four weeks, I was given to like get familiar with the technology, especially with the JavaScript and React. Earlier, I had done uh, like one work in uh, front end, but it was like one year before uh, one of my project. So I was quite out of touch of it. So like I took like four weeks to get familiar with it. Thereafter, like I was given two major responsibilities. So I was responsible for the donation portal form. The website contains uh, like one page uh, fully dedicated for donation portal. And another was like registration page whenever a uh, user wants to register for any event, any program, etc. So these two were my major responsibilities. So, um, yeah, if I ask you like some of your favorite data structure, what would you say? Yeah, okay. trees and stacks and queues. I like them. Okay. Definitely. Shall we start with the tree then? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's suppose there is a two, uh, there is a tree and uh, let me better. And these are the left and right. Okay. And uh, if I talk about, uh, yeah, so I'm saying that a dot. Uh, Left, left is B and A dot uh, right is C. Similarly, uh, B dot left is B and uh, there is B dot right is null. And similarly on the C part, uh, you can see that, yeah. that uh, it is uh, C dot uh, left is E and uh, C dot uh, right is F. And the last is obviously null null. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so can you tell me which language do you code in? CPP, C plus plus. Okay. okay, great. So uh, let's suppose I think here you define the struct and uh, let's suppose that the struct node is uh, defined as uh, int data and uh, node left and uh, node right. And there is one more thing, which is something we have to work upon. Next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next. Next. okay. Next. Okay. Next. So, so there is, you will be given a tree, which has mm -hmm. the left and right properly align, aligned, but the next is null for everyone. Okay. For every element, for every node, next is null. Okay. So what I mean by next is null. That means obviously there is no uh, pointer attached to it. Okay. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to assign the pointers. The, the, basically you have to assign the next element for each of the node. So how you will get the next is next is basically define the very next element at the same level. That means B dot next will be C. Okay. Mm -hmm. C dot next will be still null. If I talk about D dot next, it will be E, e. and E dot next would be F. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say F dot next is null. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So if I just summarize the question, I'm saying that you are, you are given a tree, which has a node data left, right, and next data left and right is properly aligned. You have to implement the next to the exactly next on the same level. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if I talk about a dot next is null, b dot next is c, and uh, c dot next is null, d dot next is e, e dot next is f, f dot next is again null. Okay. Okay. You what got if like uh, yeah. I got the question like, like what if the whole level is uh, 
like all left the... left is skewed or right is skewed are you saying that yeah yeah so in that case every is a null every element next is null okay it's just that on moving from left to right you have to see like okay what is the next element in the same level that's it mm -hmm. so maybe think okay. for a minute okay so like uh like uh, we need to like uh, assign in terms of in, for every particular level so like i was thinking about uh, basically traversing it level by level traversing okay. the tree level by level okay so we can you and we can do that using a queue okay so i think can, you are going to explain the level order traversal level right? order traversal yeah yeah so one very small feedback that i can give you at this point is that you you can concise the explanation okay it will save a lot of time as well okay hello okay yeah uh, yeah so so uh, i think you told about the level order traversal so can you tell me what will the time and space complexity yeah it will be like we need to visit every node so okay. it will be o of n n is number of node okay. and space complexity will be basically uh, it will be like uh, the maximum number of nodes in any particular level so okay. it is generally like uh, we can assume it to be like o of n only yeah in worst case big o of n only right okay. and uh, okay let's for now ignore the recursive stack that we are using okay uh in this question uh, stack no, yeah so yeah. since you are going with the level order traversal it will be just the mm -hmm. queue but i'm just saying that let's suppose if you have to go with the pre order in order or post order traversal you can ignore the recursive stack time space complexity for now okay okay so what if i try to ask that okay let's try to solve this problem in big o of n time complexity only but big o of one space complexity that means okay. through additional queue obviously i am ignoring the recursive stack that is being mm -hmm. referred yeah. so yeah you can try to solve this problem somewhere with other three either of the three traversal that is available in order pre order or post order that way mm -hmm. so level order is pretty easy right you can mm -hmm. put it in the queue and you can just keep on yeah. writing the yeah. next okay and obviously yeah. this is not an easy problem to solve so we will try to solve without any extra queue okay big up one space so think about it maybe you can even refer your paper pen if you have uh, you yeah, can sure. you can I see some of the patterns being building yeah so can you tell me what do you understand by the acid property acid place? property okay so it's like acidity um sorry atomicity and it's like isolation and c for consistency and d for uh, d is dependency i believe durability durability sir um uh, do you know about normalization yeah okay so can you tell me what is the motivation behind uh, uh, implementing normalization on the database normalization is basically done to remove the like like we can say uh, basically uh, the data redundancy to remove the data redundancy we will yeah. share the detailed report by the way but yeah you have any questions for me yeah so just i wanted to check like mm. the first question first data structure and algorithm question you asked so like i was able to think like this way we can do mm -hmm. but i was more like able to think in terms of like if it would have been a perfect binary tree then yeah, that, maybe it. that assumption was not at all you can not clarify it. with the interviewer if you have any thought so what i'm saying is the problem solving skills is really good within you but when it comes to implementing the code part i think there is some something which is not very much aligned mm -hmm. okay you you are able to think of a solution virtually in your mind but at the time of coding you are a bit uh, still maybe i won't say very good you are good but not very good still mm -hmm. so that is the part and i think you need to be very very carefully listening the interviewer's point as well like i think i maybe twice i mentioned that there are three traverser you can use any of those even i gave the hint about the recursive stack okay you missed both of them completely so mm. i would say that yeah uh, take a note of the hint given by the interviewer and to answer your question that uh, uh, i would say that uh, try to come up with the solution and think these points before hand itself we have reached to the end of the question and then we are coming up with that point maybe it's not a very great part okay mm. so yeah that's from my side yeah okay chalo thanks a lot